Face TV. Moswobi. Yes, good day, everybody watching all over the world. This is Face TV Africa. Before I say anything, this um the situation, the issue between Femi Falano and Very Dark Man is getting out of hands. And I think um some people are doing all these things just to make sure that um Femi Falano sued um very dark man to court and they've achieved that though what very dark man did by measuring or involving uh femi falano in this matter is wrong which i know but i think uh vdm has apologized accepted because we should not we uh, to me i will not say anything that femi falano has a good reputation in this country and he has to protect that reputation but before i proceed i want you guys to hear one video where femi falano was saying that some people are threatening him that if they if he carry very dark man to court they are going to burn his office down and also threaten his daughter let's watch it together the only disturbing area in this scenario is a threat to me and one of my two daughters some of these guys who i believe are mentally deranged are dead me if you like if you go to court we shall burn your office They have also sent messages to my one of my daughters that if your father goes to court, we shall you. I beg your father in this country. <laughs> I just laugh and I ask my girl, don't worry, I will take it up. I've already, I've already taken that up. But we must also let these guys know where we are coming from. Now, as you can see, we've heard it now. Now, who are these people? I'm very certainly sure it can never be VDM that will be threatening um, Femi Falano on this matter. Because if it's VDM, VDM will not come out publicly and apologize to Femi Falano. Because even me, I knew that what VDM did involving Femi Falano in that case is very wrong. So, who are these people? And we all know that this guy, which is a VDM, has so many enemies. So to me, to me, I will keep urging Femi Falano to pardon him. Accepted that what he did is wrong. If VDM can come out again and apologize to Femi Falano for involving him in that matter. But the audio of Bobriski, because to me, I don't see how Bobriski do, he doesn't want to learn because he's still bragging, doing some stuff. But the only thing that really pain me about this issue is because VDM involved Femi Falano. Femi Falano is a kind of person that he has helped so many people and fight for justice in this country. So when VDM mentioned Femi Falano in that in that video, I was I was not happy at all because it's like immediately he's trying to tarnish his reputation that is the man has built in so many years ago. I don't want to say anything about files or no files because in that tape Bobriski mentioned that he called files so if there is any issue between files and Bobriski that one can between them and meanwhile files also acknowledged that he spoke with Bobriski so I will hold VDM because this case if this case goes like this we still need this guy he should come out again and apologize to Femi Falano let us be sincere to ourselves. To me, I would just advise him to come out again and apologize to him. Because in the first place, he's not supposed to mention Femi Falano's name. And for, Femi, for Mr. Femi Falano, please, VDM is just fighting for justice. And we all know that this country, a lot of people can use so many platforms to be threatening you. It might not be VDM. VDM might not even send them. It's, okay, see what is happening about uh, they said VDM impregnate someone. The people are now started congratulating him and doing so many things. Did he send them? No. We all know what is going on online. Anybody can just say, oh, because they want him to go to jail. So they can be threatening Femi Falano for that. Some people can be doing that. 
online. We all know what is going on in the country now. Let us watch the small clips of Femi Falano when Sahar reporters interview him. Or the tragedy of people. No. And it doesn't, it doesn't cost us anything. Once we identify a case of mistrial, a case of injustice, or a case of subversion of the judicial system, we intervene. We do our homework, carry out our research, and write letters. In the last 42 years of my legal practice, I have never ever demanded for a cobble to write a letter of pardon for anybody. And my work in this area is not limited to Nigeria. No. The last one The last case of pardon that we handled, six Nigerians, among 20, they were brought to the Kirikiri Correctional Center in 2002 through a prison exchange program. Six of them were forgotten in, 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 the, in the prison. A lawyer had taken up their matter, pro bono, and had traveled from the High Court to the Supreme Court. They lost the case. And so when their family members came to me, I studied the case. And I contacted a human rights body in Thailand where they were brought. Who investigated and discovered to my utter chagrin that those guys were pardoned in 2017. Meanwhile, they were still languishing in Kirikiri Correctional Center in 2022. From there, I contacted our ambassador in Thailand to forward the instruments to me. Because he too confirmed my finding. But he said, Mr. Fallon, I cannot pass them to you directly. Why don't you go through the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? I contacted the then Minister of Foreign Affairs. Mr. Uyama, Mr. Mr. Jeffrey Uyama, a fine gentleman, totally committed to the defense of the rights of Nigerians. And what he simply asked me, Femi, what do I do? I mean, what do you want? He said, no, I'm sending a letter to you requesting for copies of the royal pardon granted to six Nigerians languishing in prison custody here. He himself is a lawyer. He too was flabbergasted. He assured me that he would do the needful. And as soon as he got my letter, he sent it to Thailand the instruments of pardon were brought to Nigeria. I did a letter addressed to the then Minister of Foreign Affairs, I mean, Interior, Ogbeni Rao Farib On the day he received the letter, he ordered the authorities of the Correctional Center, Kirikiri Correctional Center, to release them. 
So these are just six among Only two of them came here to thank me. You know, because we don't go after, you know, uh, those who have benefited from our human rights activity or work. Please subscribe to Face TV Africa and turn the notification on. Face TV Africa. Edge your subscribe. Subscribe. Uh, Face TV. Moswobi.